What is up YouTube? Welcome to another video. It is Saturday. We are officially one week out, seven days out from my very first competition, man. And I couldn't, like at this point, I couldn't even be more excited. I'm honestly, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling like it's about to happen. I'm feeling like I'm finally gonna get to showcase all the hard work I have been putting in for so long. And this is just the beginning. This is just the beginning as far as like competitive powerlifting and stuff goes. So I'm here at the Iron Asylum, my favorite powerlifting gym in the area. And I like to come here to get ready. Like if I, I like to come here if I need to do anything serious that's like powerlifting specific. But today I'm feeling kind of official because there's this like, this is like secret room in here. And you have to get like special permission to work out in here, you have to be, you know, a competitive powerlifter. You got to get permission from the staff and everything like that. And I did. So we in here right now. Got the squat bar set up. Got the bench bar set up. I'm gonna load up with kilo plates. I'm like, it's starting to feel real. I think that's why I'm getting so excited because the competition is starting to feel real. It's like it's right there. So got my singlet on, obviously, and I'm just ready to get to it, man. I'm gonna get warmed up and like figure out how to fucking load these plates up man because they're kilo plates since they're since they're kilo plates there it's just it's completely different from me putting on like the regular weight that i usually do and then even with um with when i had when i used the pound plates the pound plates at least also show the kilo plates this these these plates they don't show the pounds so i gotta i gotta finesse it a little bit figure out what's going on but no matter what, I'm excited. I'm ready to get this workout in. This is one of the last workouts leading up to the competition. And uh, it's just, it's game time, man. It's game time, so let's get into it. Got squats, got bench, slight accessory work. But everything at this point is just chill, man. Everything is just chill. At this point, it's just about making it do what it do on Saturday. So let's get into this workout, man. Come here real quick. Hey. Is that your nigga? Hey, lying, <laughs> lying. Cool. Hey, uh, Charlie, uh, come here. Uh, Let me uh, see you. Hey, yo, hey, baddie. Hey, no, hey, daddy. Uh, I'm tryna uh, fill up uh, on that uh, body. Uh, I'm tryna fill up uh, on that uh, body. Hey, you know I'm tryna put in work. Uh, I like, I like. Uh, they got down skirt, skirt. Come on, skirt, work, work, work. Hey, hey, come on, work, work, work. Yeah. All right, so the singles are moving. So these are my, I think, almost heaviest singles. I'm glad that I came in to do my singles here in this, and I'm glad that I was allowed to come in this room to do them because it's definitely a difference. Number one, it's a difference from what I'm used to because the bar is thicker and it's heavier. The bar is 55 pounds and, or 25 uh, kilograms. But the plates, they just move different. It's like a whip of the plates compared to even the plates. So I've been working out with the plates at One Life and then so when I come here, I work out with these plates and there's a difference between the plates at One Life and the plates here and then there's a difference between the plates here and the plates in here. So it's just like those small things that make all the difference when it comes time to stepping on the platform. So, got a couple more singles at this. I'm gonna just say, for all intents and purposes, I'm gonna just say 300 pounds, because that's pretty much what it is. But, got a couple more singles at 300 pounds, and then I move over to the bench, and then knock out the accessory work. But, this is just, it's not bad, man. It's not bad, and I'm just, I don't know, man. I'm happy to be here. This is my Saturday night, but I'm not mad about it at all. It's like lift weights and chill, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Good vibes, man.
So it's actually competition eve. It's Friday, December 14th, and I'm getting ready right now to pack my bag for my competition tomorrow. Pretty excited, but pretty tired and ready to go ahead and knock it out. So I'm gonna just get right into this. That way y'all can see pretty much everything that I'm taking with me to the competition. For starters, of course, I got my shoes. My shoes for, they're specifically for squats and deadlifts, but I just keep them on for the bench too. Shoes. Next, of course, we got knee sleeves. Uh, you know, self-explanatory, man, but got the got the knee sleeves that way we can make sure we can squat got my wrist wraps right here I actually broke the strap on one of my wrist wraps but you can't keep your thumb in the strap for most federations for powerlifting anyway and I was just like you know I, I did my whole training cycle with these wrist wraps so I didn't want to get no new ones in case these ones is lucky so wrist wraps next got my belt uh, you know you know how that go. I done told y'all about the belt or whatever, so got this. Gotta make sure I take this because I would be pissed if I left this at the house. I got a foam roller because I'm not gonna assume that the that the venue where I'm lifting at is gonna have these. And even if they do have these, I don't wanna fight with nobody. I'm already gonna be fighting with people to get warmed up, so I can get warmed up to get warmed up by myself. <clears throat> Along with my foam roller, I have my softball and my like tension. My tension ball right here that I talked about in the warm-up video. I got my pre-workout and my ammonia pills. These, again, I don't know if I've talked about them up here. I think I meant to when I never got around to it. Um, these, you can just like break the little tablets and smell it and give you like a, an adrenaline rush. So, got these for my big lifts. And of course, you know. I'm taking my flathead screwdriver in case I'm like super bloated in the morning or something like that and uh, I need to readjust my belt. Probably won't happen, but better safe than sorry. Got my headphones, these are a must. I'm not gonna be able to have them on on the platform, so to speak, but you know, I'll be able to have them for warm ups and while I'm like getting ready to go lift or whatever. So once they call my name, tell me to get to the platform, I just snatch these off or whatever. I told my sister to like be close so she can grab them or whatever, but I said, how many times am I gonna say or whatever? <laughs> but yeah, headphones, gotta have them. Right here, I got my singlet drying because I washed it since I've worked out in it twice just to make sure it's fresh and clean for tomorrow. Probably gonna put that in front of the fan tonight to make sure that I'm good. I got secret weapon, lots of candy, all these carbs that I'm just gonna eat throughout the meat. I'm also, I don't have them made yet, but I'm gonna make five peanut butter jelly sandwiches to eat throughout the meat too because, you know, the thing with the weigh-ins, why I look sort of like rushed is because I didn't know I had to weigh in today. Most meats you could weigh in either the day of, the day before or the day of. This specific meat is only the day before, so I'm like, <laughs> I almost missed it. Shout out to the homie Taylor because she asked me how uh, weigh-ins went, blah blah blah, and I ended up making it. But close fucking call. But yeah, since I don't, since I weighed in already, I was a little bit heavier than I wanted to be because you know everybody's lighter in the morning, and I ended up going to weigh in at like 5:30, but. The good news about me already weighing in is that I'm not weighing in tomorrow. So I'm about to smash. I got all this candy that I can eat, all of those peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. I'm ready for it. Got spaghetti over there for dinner. It's game time. Honestly, I think that's it. My girlfriend's in the shower and she has like the list that we made earlier to check everything off. But I think, I think that's it, man. I'm going to sleep pretty soon because I have to be at the gym at 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. I am not a morning person, so I'm going to set myself up for success. And it's like 8 o'clock now, I'm getting ready to eat, take me a shower, stretch, and lay it down. Like, that's it. Day is over, it's a wrap. I'm going to sleep, that way it's no problem with me getting up in the morning. I don't even got to extra hype myself, I'm fully rested and ready to go. That's that, that's the rundown of what's in my bag. Um, Like I had mentioned earlier, we got spaghetti, big old pot of spaghetti right here. Just waiting to be smashed. Got some garlic toast. I, the weird thing was happening here with the toast. It's 
like got an extra large piece of toast and then like a I don't know low calorie piece of toast <laughs> but um yeah besides that for dinner for breakfast make sure I had some bananas in the house I got this good ass bread once again carb 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 I'm like now that I know that like it doesn't my weight doesn't shit doesn't matter now I'm ready to I'm ready to eat <laughs> so so yeah man That's that, that's that, that's just, it's competition eve, I'm ready, I'm going to keep hydrating throughout the night, and just get my mind right, get ready, stretch, and just go perform tomorrow, this is it, I did everything else that I could do, I, I'm as strong as I can possibly be, dude had me hype when I told him my deadlift opener, because you have to report your openers and stuff like that for a competition, and uh, yeah, that kind of got me hyped. So many people, if, even if even if everybody that's is saying how excited they are and saying that they're gonna come, even if they don't make it, like just all the hype that's been around it, like it's so lit, man. It's so lit. So I'm ready. I'm ready to get out here and show everybody what I got. So I'm gonna wrap the video up here. Hopefully y'all enjoyed it. Hopefully y'all, you know, are hyped with me for this competition tomorrow. Cause boy, it's about time. It's been a long time coming. So about to get to it. About to do it, man. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, for the competition's sake, please hit the like button, comment down below, share the channel, share the video, all that good stuff. Please, please, please subscribe. We are so, so close to 1,000 subscribers, man, and it feels so good, so damn good. So please keep, you know, keep sharing the channel, keep doing all of that stuff so we continue to grow and start this next journey after the competition, man. I will check in with y'all tomorrow, not in this video, you know, it's going to be the next video, but I'm going to do it, man. I'm going to do it. I ain't going to lie to y'all, I'm nervous. I'm nervous. I haven't done anything competitive, like, in a while, so this is lit. I'm ready to get out there and, you know, put my game face on. So, all that. Y'all drink you some water, all that good stuff, stretch, treat your body good all that jazz, and send me some good energy for this competition, man. Besides that, all I need y'all to do is take it easy, and I'll catch you next time. I don't care what nobody said, I'ma be me. Stay hood, stay raised in the streets. Niggas talk about greatness whenever they speak about me.